Alright, and welcome back. This is Kotel for another War Rights video. We got the second round for this historical rules event. And it is another contention. And it is Railroad Cut. 319 on the server pop, 151 for the CSA versus 168 for the Union. So a little bit of an imbalance here. But uh, not, not too, too bad. They might send over one. But uh, I'm joined once again by Mr. Doug from the CQB. Hello, everyone. Colonel Duck from Colquitt's Brigade here. Pleasure being here. Thank you, Kotal. Always good to have you there. And uh, Doug was actually one of my first uh, co-commentators, so it's like getting him back. Now, we don't have CQB oh, yeah. in the round, but uh, you are a regular attendee. And a, uh, so always good to have your views on these matches. Thank you, man. Thank you. Glad to be here. All right, so we'll do a quick uh, roll call. Um... I'll just go off of the uh, the tab thing. So for the U.S. team, we've got Zio Panama leading 6LA, Major Huka leading the LFL for the Union, Killer and Gamebot are leading the two A and V elements. We've got the UEC under Venom, the Fourth New Jersey under Victor, the 2 USC under Eddie, 8th, uh, 88th New York under James Wesley, Parker leading the NYV. And looks like Forbin with uh, two guns are on cannons. We also have the first US sharpshooters in there as well. For the CSA on cannons, looks like we have JB under Corporal Thomas and Captain Schumacher. Then we have the 4th Georgia under Major Clark, the 13th Georgia under Captain Roldo, 20th Georgia under Major Canada. The HL under uh, Lupin, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Coach is leading the HD. The 11th MS under Fletcher. The TKO under Captain Decoys and the DB under Tenissimo. And the SR under Targray. And that is everyone. And I managed to get through that before the battle started. Amazing. Good job. <laughs> All right, looks like we got the first point, and the Union is here first. Um, well, we'll see how this goes. Well, it's, it's going to be interesting to defend, because you got a forest to your right side and a cornfield to your left. Yeah, we were talking earlier. This kind of feels like a uh, two trains colliding right now. What do you... <laughs> oh, yeah, perfect. Exactly. This is going to be for the Union. They need to put people in the corn over there otherwise. Or like at the end of the cornfield like they're doing now. Because this is perfect Blitzkrieg encircling maneuvers the CSA can pull off here. Oh yeah, we've got two kind of prongs here. you got decoys on one side and you've got uh, multiple units on the other side. Perfect move by TKO here. Even though they spotted them, but they are pressuring up their flank. And Denisimo's moving up as well. Oh, she's sitting oh, yeah. NYB trying to hold him. Oh, this Union unit attacking here behind the flank now. A and B is going to be outflanked. Oh, yeah. A and B uh, getting... Well, yeah, they got kind of eaten up there by 11th MS. NYB holding, though, for now, along with the 2 USC. Um, what do you think the CSA needs to do? Just keep putting pressure on the flanks, or...? They, the, this one unit down here, who's this, uh, I think HD, they all have, they have perfect shots from here, the only thing they can basically do now is keep shooting them out, because it works, I think. They could send one bigger force to flank on the left side. I don't know if they have people knocked out, no, they don't. So, the CSA can push up, I believe. Looks like Fletcher's doing just that, here comes along with MS, moving up. Careful, friendly's passing. Hold 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 Oh yeah, Fletcher is gonna put perfect put put shots into uh, NY. The New York oh, volunteers Oh, but they, here. they got nailed by a volley from who was that? UEC. Yes, it was. And TKO's putting renewed pressure on with Denisimo through that corn, like you said, and the flag is open. Does the CSA? What do you think? The CSA make a push, try to take it now, or? Definitely they should, they can. They have the snake fence now. The Union is staying in the open right now. And they can go for the decap. 20th Georgia and 4th Georgia could move up a bit. 
Uh, yeah, I think I'd agree with that. And here we go, they're going to start neutralizing it. Yeah, they're decapping. The setup is again perfect from the CSA. They have both flanks covered really well. Union abandoning their right. It's not good. Gives those people on the left on the, of the CSA here. Looks like LFL, yeah, looks like they put Stealth in the center now. Um, no, they didn't need to contest point though. A and V is doing a suicide charge. LFL now going in. The timing was bad on that charge. Yeah, I think that's gonna hurt them. HL is now gonna eat up the entire Union force, and there's that encirclement. Look at that. The entire Union is about to be encircled. Yep, you're right. They uh, collapsed that flank once it opened up, and that was it. That's an absolute annihilation of the Union forces. Here. Yeah, and uh, you know I'm looking at it. There's an 11 man imbalance right now for the Union as well that they have in their favor. So. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, they have like how many guys on artillery? So it's basically evened out. Uh, have... well, no, I mean CSA has guys on already too. So. Yeah, four, and they have seven. Union is seven. So, I mean... Well. Ooh, that's gonna be rough for the Union, yeah, because look, look, the CSA has this beautiful snake fence here, and the Union has to cross the field. They should go through the corn. Yeah, I was, gonna, there, I, I, I was gonna ask what you thought about uh, the attack venture, so you think the corn would be the uh, best best angle of attack? The, it would be the only way, I believe, to attack, honestly, because the artillery now of the Union has good shots. They have actually perfect shots, if you look at this. Even though that shot just went uh, to Alaska. Yeah, a little bit too high on that one. So yeah, NY uh, New York Volunteers is now moving up. And I mean, you can definitely go for this little angle here on the side. Um, but the CSA is now consolidating also on the right side of the cornfield. Yeah, do you think they're yeah. spreading out a bit too much or do you think they're okay? No, no, no. I think they they are very close to each other. They can react. Um, and... The Union will attack casualties, pushing people off, and then those reinforcements should arrive in time. And again, this one Union element pushing up is alone. This is the same mistake they did in the in the other round. They are pushing up alone, and now HL and another CSA element on the right side there. Yeah, and you can see they shoot them out. They've already, we're not even probably 30 seconds, and they're down to four men. It was like 10 seconds, and HL just deleted that. Now Rollo is also moving up with the 13th Georgia, and that's that's one Union regiment knocked out again. Now they have to respawn again, get ready, move out, and then they're going to be going in alone again. Good setup by the CSA right here. Uh, yep, very good. Actually, you also had who's who is this 20th rotator all the way out, a little bit further. Get some shots maybe at the Ardian who's ever going to go over this uh, open field now. LFL has another Ardi shot ready. I believe. They can they, they can now perfectly shoot at this uh, CSA regiment on the snake fence now though. They, they don't pay attention to that apparently. The Ardi. Yeah. Let's see. Here goes Sam. 11th MS is pushing the entire Union team alone. Uh, that hardy shot wasn't bad. Looks like a little bit short. That other one was way yeah. short. But yeah, 11th MS pushing up. Uh, I don't know. That might. What do you think about that move? I mean, maybe Fletcher didn't know he has the entire Union team in front of him. But that was uh. Sweet as. N not good. Let's just call it not good. Yeah, now you got GameBot doing a wide flank on the corn, and you got several other Union different angles in the corn here. What do you think of this Union attack so far? Uh, the people who are holding back are doing definitely something wrong over here. I don't know who this is. 4th New Jersey should move up. They shouldn't stand here and shoot. They should move up and advance. Same for LFL uh, yeah. people chilling there, because yeah. now the Union needs the reinforcements. In yeah, I mean, I mean Eddie, yeah, 2USC has an uh, avenue. They had some extra support to block the other CSA. 
Gamebot got the flank of the CSA over here. They are outflanking 4th Georgia. Well, if the Union would now move... I don't know what those people are doing, falling, even falling back. If they would go in, they could push the CSA off. Yeah, and here, yep, here comes uh, 13th and 11th MS to shut the door on 2 USC here. This is, this is bad communication from the Union. They could have, they, they would, they would, they would take it. That was not a bad it, attack angle. It just didn't have enough to it. It needed a little bit more, I think. It's this again going in with not everyone. People hang, sitting back. They need to move. And now it's going to be CSA will be on the fence. Yeah, LFL's coming in now, but it's, it's too late now, unfortunately. If they would have been there two minutes earlier, they would have been uh, able to maybe push them off. Because now moving. Mm, there is a CSA unit wide coming from spawn, but this, these people moving outside of the cornfield are exposing their right flank to uh, 30, is this 30th Georgia here? 20th, Canada. And now they are focusing the regiment on the side instead of going to point. They might have enough men to pull this off now. They they, might. They're hitting them pretty hard. Uh, here comes SB now. Let's see if the UEC can do it. I mean, it's, it's, it's the five second respawn. I always tell people. I mean, you got two, you got four flags here, man. That's you know, it's every thirty seconds. God, it's twenty four people, man. It's it's tough to knock that off. One good Adi shot though. Uh, in that, I mean, in that thing that would work. Yeah. And now the union does not. I mean, they have the fence. Kind of. That element that pushed the right flank there is now wiped out. Shifted left. Shifted left. Shifted left. It's a knife fight. It's, it is a knife fight. They should go up and over and start decapping. Um. Because they are, yeah. the CSA is pulling yeah. back off point more and more. They are busy with A and V and LFL here. If you cover me, I try to. Yeah, I, I, we'll see. We'll see. I think. I mean, it's I a gamble, but I don't flag. think they have a choice. I don't. If you look at the point decap, it's also on the other side, so it's gonna be. Oh, uh, that guy just tried to decap. Yeah, you need, you, need, you need more than one guy. Yeah, you need you need a little bit here. And now the reinforce the CSA reinforcements from Maine are here in time to stop the decapping. Yeah, it took a little bit too long. It's three decoys controlling it. They gotta push it if they want to try to take it here. They gotta, yes. A and V now knows just as well moving over. Yeah, here more comes and more killer. 11 MS pull coming in. I don't know what this one regiment moving down the road up here from the Union is doing. This is gonna be trying to find a right a wide flank here from Gamebot. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure on that one. That's maybe he's thinking the point's already lost. But... Maybe he's going to the next point. Yes. Well, this is right now. This is an all or nothing fight for the Union, but they can't take it. They should, they should pull back now. It's over. Yeah. They they are hurting themselves more staying here than they are benefiting themselves. No, and now they're going to go down to taking losses on the That's first exactly. uh, on the first thing, and they're not in a great position. That the was a good point. Artie shot. At the next point is in favor of the CSA, look at this. Yeah, I mean, you got these other, you know, the two units from the road, maybe they were thinking, hey, the point's lost, I'm gonna move on to the next point. The uh, game bot is gonna move there, but I don't know if he has enough men to... No, he's going for the Artie. I mean, he doesn't have a flag with him, though, so, oh, so, you know. That arty shot. Yeah, I watched that. I was like, anyone. Well, yeah. <laughs> it looked it cool. just knocked someone down. Does yeah, NYV well, have really... a flag with him? We do, we do, we do not have morale damage. We're far from that one. Oh, they have another cannon ready here. Uh, they don't have a flag. Let's see, do these guys? Voluptuous. Oh, second USC doesn't have a flag either. See, so you... Another interception force of the CSA splitting no, off. No, 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 I'm just scouting. <laughs> I don't know if you can call that an interception force. It's like five guys. Yeah, it's, it's kind of small. I mean, the main bulk of the CSA is going to get here, and this is a very easy point for the CSA to defend. 
Oh, a second USC has yes, the high ground here now. It's just. Yeah, but they need some help here. Look at all these CSA that's showing up here soon. Put TJ just got shot trying to carry the flag to the thing. Yeah, look, 20 George is getting charged in the rear here by 20th. Now, ADF New York will counter counter that maneuver. And 13th Georgia and 11th MS will counter that maneuver, which will be countered by A and V and Parker. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, the problem, though, is, you know, CSA spawn is two feet away. Union's across the map. It's intense, though, because if the CSA is not able to cap this, look at the look at the way the, the, the hill is built up over here. Yeah, no, it's... it's uh... Well, we'll see if the Union can get the cap. And that you're just jumping down the cliff. The Union shouldn't put too many people down there. That's going to be a, a death hole down there. Well, you see, they've already got they got one flag down. They haven't picked up down here. They go pile down. Hawken is capping it himself. Defend yourselves, boys. Yeah, he's trying to. What's up, my dude? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? This is just a canyon shootout. Right now, the Union is capping the point. Yeah, I see Parker getting it up. We'll see if they can give him enough cover. He's running out of men down here. And here comes Fletcher. Oh, Parker just got bumped by Andy. Yeah. So now the CSA's got it. And look how many Union flags are down in the dirt now. That's the problem. That's absolutely, that was just stupid, going down there with so many flags. I mean, it, sh it should have just been one. It's hard to communicate, though, sometimes. You know, it was two, you know. Oh, yeah, right now, this is going to be hard for the Union to take back. No, I would that's, say it's almost impossible. That's, that's a very tough point to take back, and they're already down to taking losses. And they still have, like, some people just running around in their lines. It's just out of line casualties. Now, well, we, uh, we secure flag down there, so that, that's all right. Uh, Get in line now, HO. Half thugs on the hill. That was a bloodbath, dude. Take aim! See, as I has it. They should yep. get out of the canyon now. Fire. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get onto the other side of the two cannons. The cannons. It's basically a trench. Yeah, yeah. And CSA, just this setup is perfect. If they push off the first line, they have a second line. No, that's a, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very hard point once the CSA takes it. And again, look at where their respawn is. Look how, oh, yeah. Look how it's close like it is. Right there. It's right there. Oh, so it's. It's such a hard point for the Union to take. It's so easy for the CSA to hold. Again. Yeah, I mean, if the Union gets there first and controls both canyons and keeps their flags up, then they can... It, it, it's possible to it's it's possible for the Union to hold it, but it's very hard for them to take it, I guess. It's, you know. Oh, yeah. Once the CSA gets set like this, you know. And the Union has about, I'd say that's a two to three minute walk for a yeah, double quick yep. to the point. And there, the Union artillery is about ineffective here. Also true. Just trying to push up the guns. Well, very well played again by the CSA here. And I, I again, I thought if the Union units on the first point those people who were holding back, they should have gone in, and together they would have been able to knock them off. Yeah, I mean, they I'm did go certain. in, it was just a matter of timing was the problem. It just, they didn't, exactly. they didn't have the timing down. Because the it charges were hitting good. The charges no, were it was, good. No, it, it was good angles of attack. It was, you know, they were they were good. They just didn't have enough to them. And then the, the other ones came in, again, from decent angles, but just not together. And it just, you know, wasn't enough. Oh, yeah. Well. It's tough, you know, no Steam Chat, you know, it's corn, you can't see, but, you know. Exactly. I mean, they still have, like, 11 people more, but, you know. 11th MS now moving up on their flank again here. Fletcher. Perfect angle here. Yeah, again, see if they can just start doing stuff like this. It just squeezes the Union out of that position. Uh, you know what? 
There's a Rambo. Jack Sparrow just. Oh no! He turned around. And he got shot. Left of MS is now forcing the entire unit team to pull back. Together with HD. And they're got, now moving on their flank again. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, you got Rolo coming crazy, up behind him. Crazy. Oh, it played great. very, very well. Oh, oh, my God. And another flanking oh, force. Right yep, you're going to be right oh, here for, waiting front. for Killer. 20th yeah, yeah, Georgia. See if they can get aggressive, they can try to get him closer to breaking. I'd agree. I, I think yes. They're doing everything right, so might as well push up. Ploppin is gonna. HL is gonna ch charge A and B here. Get him Get him. Yeah, they're gonna charge him off. Yep, they got deleted. Now the CSA controls the entire forest. Jesus Christ. Yep. You do have this uh, force here by the Union. It's uh, NYV 2 USC UEC force. Um, in theory, Looks like a fast link. In theory, if the CSA is not paying attention, you might actually get this to work. But I'm already seeing CSA move back, so they're not going to make that mistake. Unfortunately, you know, unfortunately for the Union. And there's 20 of Georgia in between that as well. Yeah. So it's 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 a good idea. I don't I, I I like it, but uh, the CSA is playing pretty well today, so they're not really giving that opening. No, then they also have more aggressive and more passive units, which is also uh, quite well. If you have more passive units, uh, chilling a little bit back, like we've seen, uh, we've seen who was a 20 of Georgia, 4th Georgia, just chilling a little bit back. Basically fixing gaps, um, so the big and better units can push, right? For example, like HL11 MS, they just really love these moves they do. Um, and then if the um, backup regiments can just fix the gaps, that's just perfect. 4th Georgia now here is moving up. Um, they are behind the entire team here. Um, I'm gonna be interested to see what Clarky will do. Maybe go, maybe go to those rocks and shoot them. We'll see, but we'll see if this uh, gambit pays off for this Union team. If they can decap the point here. Oh, this is an interesting approach by the Union. Yeah, I guess it, it was a good approach. We'll see if it works. They might. Uh, there's a bit too much of the CSA kind of responded, but they still might succeed. Union having does the Union have flags with them? Because if they do, that's going to be very risky. They might end up losing this all. Yep, they're trying to get the point down here. Almost got it. And the CSA is now coming up. Oh, the same they the saved! Union they up. saved it. You ain't helping shit. TKO. TKO saved it. Come down here! Come down here! Don't protect be a coward! Watch protect above you! Protect watch above you! Watch above you! Watch above you. Come on down here! Union needs to charge this out. I don't know why they're sitting up there. Too late. Hey, Jell, if you see this, I love you, 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 you guys. Straight moving. Um. Well, that's the end of that. But what do you think of that maneuver by the Union? A good approach, and they, with more people, would have been. They would have been able to hold, but Union. Apparently, do not really care for their right flank today. They abandoned the right flank on the first point, and they didn't care for the right flank here as well. Yeah, I, I, I hate to agree, but I think if they had one more unit, um, you know, another 10, 15 men, maybe the Artie crew? <laughs> yeah, those swords could have definitely carried the fight. You know, right? that, that uh, you know, it was, it was by a hair's breadth there, you know, by three seconds, I would say, three to five seconds to get that flag down. Yeah, you know, which... and I, I don't want to be mean if I tell this to the union, but it's just it's just being honest of the the way they they've pushed it. It it worked almost. It was it, it was a good attack. I liked it a lot. You saw it was, but it just didn't yeah. have enough to it. It's again, more, you need more people to pull off something like that. If you have two hundred people less on the server, this would have worked. But if you have three hundred and twelve people on a server, um, 
you need to you need to commit more people to attacking and maybe also you know to distracting. Yeah, and Union has now we're at the final point here in the middle of the killing field. Ooh. Eleven FMS will start to cap. Yep, and this part this point is you can take it, but it costs you so much. And they Union has no tickets to spare, unfortunately, for them. Great move by ANV. Yep, coming in. See his ass, the snake fence now, though. Union needs to cap this and uh, consolidate. I honestly think it's over, though. They are very close to the last stand. No, it's 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 over. Does <laughs> he say I already got charged again? Game by they're not having a good time today. No, no. And this is the time they can actually shoot something. The first time all exactly. game they can actually, you know, shoot a target. Good move by the Union though to push him off. Oh, Union in the corn gets eaten up. HL again. HL is just taking snack after snack today. And now there's another snack incoming, Eddie. That might he might be able to actually put severe damage to HL here. Ooh. I think HL will. will oh no, HL will be able to weather that. Get the flag up, boys. Well, they're getting the flag knocked out. Hey, Second oh, USC might be able to pull this off, but Plopin has a revolver. Yeah, they, they didn't kill the officer. Let's see. That's... Yeah, Plopin got it. Without Plopin, it was, it was a good yeah. charge, though. Good attack by two USC. Much smaller unit compared, compared to uh, HL. Right. Without Plopin, they would have. Uh, they would have won that. Oh, absolutely. The revolver. And Union is, for the first time in this round, controlling a point. Oh, uh, but what point is it? It's... <laughs> the field point. Yeah. The Texas flag running back getting shot. Fourth Georgia here. We'll try to recover that flag. First Lieutenant Sauce is going for it. Can he, can he do it? Union's keeping the Arnie silent. He made it, he got the flag out of there. And now they got perfect shots on the Union, they'll end up in last stand. The Union could send their artillery men over to see his artillery. Tried to capture the guns. Uh, they would have I mean, had more time. The CSA is going to retake the guns here in a second anyway. Who's this moving up here? Is this 11 for miss? Yeah, it is. Uh, Again, there's no comms back there, so it's you know it's not like you can really get the oh, yeah. message back. I mean, they would need to send a guy running over, telling them, "Yo, you guys can take the artillery," and then they move up and they see 11 for mess standing there. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's. I mean, I, I'm always a fan of you know turning the guns, but on on this map, it's it's. Nah. Yeah. I mean, unless no, they, were, they unless they went with the attackers and kind of waited like with them, that's the only time that you could pull something like that off. Like, again. Oh yeah. Try to get them across the field. You see CSA is already down here to recap. So the uh, 20th Georgia, Sergeant Hagar, will decap. And the Union will be in last stand soon. Very shortly, actually. Yep. Get the flag up, brother. Get the flag up. Get the flag up. Keep the flag up. Very well played by the CSA. A and V again moving up on their flank here. Game bot this time. Shooting into their side now. If you can, if you're watching the point right now, there people are dropping left and right because of this open field. No, it's yeah, it's just a killing field, man. It's it's. And you also need to like stay as a line by the HRE rolls. You yep. can't like do That's open it. order or something like that because I'm a, I, I love open order. Oh yeah, it's this uh, this point is just it's yeah, last stand. So. And the union, the union wants this point. They're charging them. Ah, uh, you know, keep playing until the buzzer, you know. Oh, definitely. And they will win this charge, and they'll put the flag up. Oops. Second rally to me, to me, to me. Yeah, they're putting the flag up. Look at this. Yeah, you know, final, uh, final stand, you know. Oh yeah, HL is gonna try and put an end to that now. See his artillery is back in the fight. It's gonna be an epic last stand here. 
HL stopped. They didn't go for the charge. HL is kind of thinking what they want to do now. They moved up short and now pulled back and now moved up again. Gamebot is going to have some fun flanking out this one uh, unit here on the fence. DB. Oh yeah. Should be able to catch him. Just look at all those dead bodies around the point. A canister going into the point. Okay. Was it a canister? I don't know. Uh, I, I don't think it was a shell. Black canister for a second. Maybe because graphic settings are a little bit different. Oh yeah, could have right. been. I mean, I wasn't looking directly at it too, so... I just saw like, you know, the... The thing, how it looks on with all the dust popping up and stuff. A and V gets eaten up by 11 MS now. Right. What up, Yang Boy? GG's, I guess. Yeah, yep, that yeah, looks like that's about it. Uh, so, any uh, any final thoughts here as we kind of wrap it up for the weekend? Well, I I think the CSA played really well again. They stayed together. Um, they were defending really well. Uh, <laughs> neutralized the point. Um, and the Union, I think, if they, if the Union team would have been able to do their pushes together and stayed a little bit more together, it would have been more effectively because good units on both sides um, was very balanced, I think, today. So um, it was just the oh no, uh, no, yeah, very high quality, yeah, very uh, very tough individual fights. Just uh, it, yeah. it was just the timing, and when you do a charge, in the end, it comes down to having moment and timing. So. Yep. And the Union wants this point. I mean, still want I mean, yeah, play to the end, you know. Get out of here, play. Get out of here. Just I love the fact that they are... That oh, someone yeah. is trying to still put the flag up all the time. And HL will put an end to this. No. That should be it. One guy standing. Oh, no, he got shot. Oh, you still got Zio all the way over here, but... Oh, yeah. He's sharpshooting them. He got a good position here as well with hard cover. I think it's not a best Overwatch spot. No, not at all. But yeah, no, yeah. and again, um, so uh, just to kind of give it for those guys that know for CQB, um, what events are you guys currently involved in? Uh, we are currently involved in, uh, I think it's two or three in A events. Um, Smoke and Steel is like our biggest NA event we're participating in. And a lot of EU events, kind of EU based, um, but also NAs because, you know, the NA people also want to have fun trying to keep growing that as well, looking always for new people uh, to join us. Um, we have a Blue and the Grey for EU, which is a competitive Friday event basically. Um, grand campaign on Saturdays. And usually we're in HRE, but now we're a little bit of a of a break here. We should be back soon. And uh, for NA, we also have Friday night fights, and we have um, the Picket Patrol Wednesday event for EU. So, a bunch of events to choose from. No attendance requirements. Uh, just a chill and fun time. Nice, lots of options. And again, if you guys are interested in joining the CQB, there is a link in the description. Mr. Doug's name. You guys can find it there. Join the link. And, uh, yep. If you want to hear more from Mr. Doug, why wouldn't you? <laughs> but, no, thanks uh, again for uh, joining me, man. Always a pleasure having you. Thank you, man. Thank you. I think we got uh, we got to see two fun rounds here today. Uh, I, would, I would have loved to play on the Union, actually, today. Yeah, it was, um, uh... Yeah, it was too, uh... It was a lot to chew on, on both of them. Mm. And, um... I would have, I would have loved to to sh to shout at this guy, at the regiment staying back in the cornfield if they, uh, you know, didn't advance because again, if they would have taken that point. The entire game would have been written differently. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, who's this one AG? Oh, AGL guy. <laughs> one man left here, <laughs> Bronk. Bronk, you can do it. AGL Alabama German Legion. German fella. Oh no, he's lost in the forest. Uh, we're all gonna judge you now, Prong. Okay, everybody's gonna judge you. It's running back to his to his house. It's a battery fella as well. It's an artillery guy. <laughs> Plummet is hunting him. He's running. They're trying to shoot him. Oh, just die, brother. Just die with honor. He's getting behind the fence. Plappen really wants him. 
Rock is like, you can't catch me. He shoulders arms. <laughs> Look at him. He keeps running. Oh, they're about to follow him. Oh no, they, they're not hitting him. Oh, he, oh, oh he got oh. it when he goes. Oh, oh that was poor Brock. So <laughs> almost made it home. Oh, oh, man of the match it. on the Union. Man of the match indeed. Anyway, that's it for me. Uh, thanks again to Mr. Doug. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys. Uh, I'll probably be recording this uh, this upcoming weekend. So I hope to see you all uh, then. And looking forward to seeing CQB and HRE in the next couple weeks. Sounds good, man. Yeah, sure. All right. Y'all have a good one.